A £23 million compensation package for fisheries impacted by Brexit red tape has been unveiled by Boris Johnson. Last week the Prime Minister promised action for fishing communities whose businesses were been damaged by delays at the border. Yesterday outlines of the plan were unveiled by the Prime Minister while he was on a visit to Oxfordshire, with millions of pounds pledged to help out those experiencing difficulties. Mr. Johnson said, insofar as there are problems at the moment, caused by teething problems, people not filling in the right forms, or misunderstandings, when it is not people's fault, of course we are going to compensate and to help out, and funds have been put in place to do that. He added, where businesses, through no fault of their own, have faced difficulties exporting where there is a genuine willing buyer, there's a £23 million fund to help out. Specifics of the compensation scheme are still yet to be made public. Dot. A Downing Street official yesterday said the government would provide specifics shortly. Pressure was mounting on the Prime Minister to take action after fisheries launched a protest in Westminster. As many as 20 lorries parked up close to number 10 to express anger at businesses being tied in knots with paperwork. Trucks with slogans such as Brexit carnage and incompetent government destroying shellfish industry took part in the protest. Some firms have experienced delays of over 24 horus at the border when exporting to the continent. The fishing industry relies on quick exports so their produce can get to market while still fresh. Alan Miller, owner of AM Shellfish in Aberdeen, Scotland said, it's not just possible to work with their new rules, between costs, timing, paperwork, it's just not possible. Adding delays were impacting on the quality of the product, he said, they'll buy it but if the stuff is weaker they'll pay less for it. A spokesman from Imouth-based Dr. Colin and Son, who were taking part in the protest, said, the industry is being tied in knots with paperwork requirements which would be easy enough to navigate, given that companies have put in the time and training in order to have all the relevant procedures in place for the 1st of January 2021. 